so check it out guys the light i'm gonna use it because i'm bought up this foam out here we're gonna see the underneath if you guys can see it i can light up everything i need to do i need to put these screws on here i could just put the light in here simple as that today i'm gonna bring an led light and this is a, one of the Best lights I got for my studio and not only that I take this with me everywhere I'm filming so if it's a dark area or something I'm guaranteeing you this is a great light for those things um, the feature that it has is even better so if you guys notice it looks like a stick a night stick all right it's pretty much but it is super bright as it is and it has multiple options and you can charge this and it'll last you a couple hours on it there's other features that you could change the the color you can change from red blue yellow and so forth uh, multiple colors you can do on top of that it's magnetic you could set this up in any kind of device you have a metal device you can just click it in there and it'll stay there fixed for hours now if you can see it, it does tell you K21, that's the model that we have. And it's a uh, battery wise is 3.7 volts, right? Uh, now this device, turn it on is simple. There's a power button here. There's a plus and negative, and then you can set different tones in, as it is. So it's type C connection to charge it. It's not that bad. And, and if you guys can see it, you could actually mount it on both ends. So if you have a tripod, you could set this up either way on either direction uh either direction you can set it the best thing about it like i said it's magnetic so let's go ahead and turn it on so what you're going to do is you're going to turn it on you can just hold the button down and then you'll see it coming up it's asking you on the lcd it's telling you a couple of things and let me turn off one of the lights here and right now i'm just going to turn it up a little bit and i'm going to set different settings right now there is a couple of things that you should know about in here in the display it tells you the battery the, the brightness and how, how much voltage you can have. And right now we're at 55 Ks, all right? And you could change that. So let's go ahead and change that tone. We're gonna put it at 66%, 67. We're gonna go to 80% and set. Look at that. Change different colors. We're gonna go back down, set, change it. Check out the light, dude. I put it on one of my best tripods I had. Um, the light is actually setting up. I like this light a lot. If you can see it, it's on the actual tripod. And we're going to put it right next to a motherboard that we're going to be filming with two different cameras and two different angles. So for studio lighting, I have plenty of light right now, but I want that more light in here closer to me. So, so I can have less shadows. If you can see it, less shadows on it. If this is just, it's perfect. It's not as bright as I want it to be because I want it, I adjust it because I could put it a little bit more brighter than it is. It's perfect the way I have it. So right now we're gonna do an overview of with this tripod here in the back uh, along with this um, light. So let's go ahead and do that. And I hope you guys enjoy it. One of the best things I found out that you can use the light to work on a laptop or desktop, especially laptop, the desktop because it has a magnet. Like that. I use it best on this kind of source when I'm working hands on. I want to have extra light in there. Um, and this is magnetic, pretty much works anywhere, you know. It's just one of the best features I love about this light, not just for studio, but also for working environments underneath the car. Um, like in places like this very very unique i like it um i want to add more lights to this so i'm going to order some more of these lights and put them all around because <laughs> these are very convenient i actually use this a lot more than any other lamp because it's so light and easy to carry and i put it in my pocket but imagine if you a studio on the go with these this is pretty good i'm not even to the highest max right now i'm at 10 percent right now but i want it to get too bright so that's good enough for me.